It was a day no one would forget. The 29th of July, 1981. A summer's day with the Queen and all the royal family. Prince Charles marries Lady Diana Spencer and the eyes of the world are on London. Ah, that's what everybody's been waiting for. In the crowd, an eight-year-old boy watches the fairy tale unfold. An hour later, he's missing. As police search the city, his family face an agonizing wait. What they don't know then is that 40 years later, they will still be waiting for answers. Despite speaking to thousands of people, the police have no meaningful leads. The case goes cold and the world moves on. Then, one day in 2020, a BBC reporter gets a call from a mysterious source. The caller doesn't want to be identified, but they've been deep in police headquarters and they tell me they've seen something that may blow the case wide open. If this was known in the early days, this would be massive. I mean, did you have messed up the original case and now you are even messing up everything else? From BBC Studios, the extraordinary true story of a boy who went missing while the world looked the other way. The story of his family and of our new investigation into his disappearance. It's not like you've got to find a needle in a haystack. The information is there. I believe 100% that I was abducted. All lives are not treated the same. Who are they trying to fool? Am I an idiot? A podcast series three years in the making about what happens when justice isn't served, but secrets won't stay buried. It's time to just tell the truth now, Jim. No, it's not. I don't really. Yeah, no, really. It's time to tell the truth. A lightning bolt coincidence sparks a journey across the globe looking for answers. I'm around five and a half thousand miles away from East Putney Underground Station. It doesn't matter whether it happened yesterday or 50 years ago. We're talking about justice, ensuring that the police do their duty. The new nine-part investigative series, Vishal, Listen on BBC Sounds.